This is 2004 AP Physics B um, exam question. A designer is working on a roller coaster and has a mass of point or the card of point five kilogram that moves at neglect without the friction um, and starts at the first uh, hill that is two meters above the ground. Second hill is 1.9 meters above the ground and when it let go at the top of the first hill has initial velocity of 1.5 meters per second and um, the radius of the second hill is 1.95 meters they ask you to calculate the speed of the car at the point a so i wrote for you a formula for a potential energy and the kinetic energy so and i'm going to calculate potential and kinetic energy at the top of the first hill for now so the potential energy is equal to mgh the mass is 0.5 g is 10 and h is 2 so that gives me 10 joules the kinetic energy at the top of the first hill the formula again i wrote for you at the bottom is one half mv squared so it's one half the mass is one half and v squared is 1.5 squared and that is 0.5625 joules so conservation of energy says that the total energy of the system and the total energy that we start with is 10 Five six two no two five five six two five joules. So no matter where we look at our um, card, it should have the total energy of this much. So this is the number that we're looking the total mechanical energy that the system has. Um, so I'm gonna look at the top of the second hill. So the top of the second hill has potential energy of again the mass g and h is 1.9 so that gives me um 9.5 joules and the total energy of the system should be 10.5625 so i know that the kinetic energy which is equal to one half the mass and v squared at point a and equals to the difference between um, 10.5625 and 9.5. Let me subtract those. So the kinetic energy is equal to 106 joules. And if I solve for the velocity times by four both sides and take the square root, I will have the velocity is equal to. 2.05 meters per second at point A. So that would be my answer for A. For B part, they ask you to find, um, to draw the forces acting on the, on the card at the top of the point A. So at the po top of the point A, I'm gonna draw it here. At the top of point A, I have mg. I have the normal force. And the next one is not force, it's centripetal acceleration. But again, on the AP exam, if they ask you to draw the forces, you don't show centripetal acceleration. So if my answer was on, um, if my answer was for this question as a response for B, my forces would be mg and the normal force and that's all the forces acting on the object so that would be b for c they ask you to calculate the magnitude of the force on the truck um, at the on the car at the point a so magnitude of the force of the on the truck um, so the F net is equal to MA and the net force is the normal minus MG 
and when you write MA, in this case, it's MAC. And if you look on the top, AC is directed downward, so that is negative. And MG was also directed downward, so that was also negative. That's why I have MG negative. So I have negative MAC, which is negative M V squared over R. So if I solve for the normal force in this case, I have MG minus m v squared over r and if i plug in my numbers i have mg is 5 mass is 0.5 and g is 10 minus one half the velocity i just found at point a is 205 so that is times 2.05 squared and all of it divided by the radius, and the radius is given all the way on the top for the second um, circle or the path is 0.95. So that is 0.95. So the normal force is equal to 2.7 newtons. And this is where I get my information. You see right here on the all the way on the top, I calculated the kinetic energy of the object on the top of the second hill is 106. So if I take all this energy away by doing some work of friction, then my object or the car would stop all the way on the top. So um, if I want to calculate the uh, work done by the friction in this case, it must come from the kinetic energy. So if the object has no kinetic energy on the top of the second hill, then the object cannot move. So it's, there's going to be no velocity. And equals to 1.06 joules. So this is how much work of friction needs to be done in order for the object not to be able to move past the point A. For the last part for E, they ask you to find how you can modify the truck design so it would cause the car to lose contact with the truck at the point um, at the point A. So if and it is point A, right? Yeah, it is point A. Okay. So the card um, at the point A, let me read right here, has these forces acting on it. You have the normal force, and you have mg, and you have acceleration toward the center, centripetal acceleration toward the center. So if you have the normal force minus mg, the net force, equals to a negative mac, because ac is directed to the negative side. So the net force is equal to ma, second Newton's law, and mg is negative because of the direction down. Um, you only have, it would lose contact with the top of the hill if n was equal to zero. So if n is not equal to zero, then it will not lose the direction, uh, contact with this hill. But if n is equal to zero, so I need to make sure that n is equal to zero, then the truck will lose contact with a hill, and um, and that's exactly what they ask you, right? They design the so cause they lose the contact with the truck. So if n is equal to zero, I have negative mg is equal to negative mac. Negative m and negative m can be cancelled, so your ac, which is v squared over r must be equal to g. So you would have to modify and make sure that v squared over r is equal to g. And this is under which the condition, so this would be the condition under which um, the cart would lose contact with the truck at the point A.